Hello, Tom Lavecchia here with the latest edition of the New Theory Podcast. <laughs> Excuse me, quick cough. Uh, I'm Tom Lavecchia, your host, and I'm here with Ross Pantel. He is, and this is, he got my interest, and I get pitched a lot, especially for New Theory. And he is a guy, you know, he claims, and we'll talk about it today, which I like, find any business additional ten to $50,000 in less than 45 minutes, and then here's the best part, not spending any money on marketing and advertising. So because I'm a marketer, there's usually a acquisition cost for a new client. It is what it is. So it looks like you may have a formula or a coaching mechanism or process to help lower that CPA or make it nil. Ross, welcome to New Theory Podcast. How are you doing today? I'm great. And Tom, thank you for the opportunity to speak to you and your, and your followers. I greatly appreciate this opportunity. All right. So... We talked a little bit offline. Your sweet spot is 500,000 to 5 million. You could obviously go bigger. And I understand part of the reason why you want to do that is you want to deal, you know, directly with the principal. So before we get into the solution, let's talk about the problem. Why does, and I struggle with this every day too. Um, why would I maybe make 600,000 a year gross and not 6 million? What are some of the challenges that you see being on the outside in? Well, number one is basically a lot of business owners, especially in the sweet spot that I'm dealing with, okay? You're dealing with business owners who focus on the day-to-day -day operation of the business. Yeah. They're so entrenched in what their expertise is that they lose sight to two, two things. One is marketing. The other one is cash flow. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what yeah. happens is, is that they're entrenched in the day-to-day -day and there's 20% of what a business owner does every day that produces 80% of their revenue. That's the fair. The problem with a lot that. of business owners today is they're doing the 80% of the day-to-day -day that's bringing in the 20% of the revenue. So they are totally emotionally spent, especially during COVID. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. And how do you break the cycle? Well, basically what happens is when I talk to a business owner and I can find any business owner, you know, 30, 50, $100,000 in under 45 minutes, and I guarantee the results and it doesn't cost them extra dollar marketing or advertising. This is because we have been taught incorrectly on how to market. And I'm making a bold statement, but I'll back it up. If you take two, three, four, five websites of the same business in the same industry, okay, you could have five chiropractors, five landscapers, five, uh, you know, oh, yes. roofers. Yeah. You look at any business, and I guarantee you, ninety-nine point nine percent look alike. There's nothing different from them, and what happens is you're competing on price. So. In today's market, it's so important to understand why aren't people marketing correctly because they've been taught wrong. Yeah. There is a formula involved and it's called the conversion equation and it's made up of four parts. And basically what it does, you first have to set up yourself as the market dominating position in your industry. What do I mean by that? You have to target the pain points of your prospect. Every prospect, no matter what industry, has a problem which they do not want, and there's a result which they do not have. Okay. If you're able, okay. okay, if you're able to solve those two issues in your marketing, you'll have more business than you ever dreamed of. Today, marketing is built around branding. You know, when you're looking at these billion dollar companies and they have the ad budget to do it, they could pound it through because of commercials. Yeah. But when you're dealing with a small business owner and you have a crowded space like chiropractic, like roofing, construction, you name it, it's a crowded space. So how do you stand out from the crowd when you're competing for the same landscape, doing the same thing your competition's doing? Good point. Now, I like it so far. That's why it got me intrigued. And without giving away too much, because we want people to use you, because you should be yep. compensated yep. for your proprietary formula. But why don't you give us a little bit top line about the how in your process, if that's okay? Sure, sure. Basically, the, you know, when I talk about 
you have to understand what your prospects think. And this is what we drive to our business owners. When we sit down with them, I ask them, what's the number one problem they're facing today in their business that keeps them awake at night? Most people, because of COVID, are saying, hey, I need more leads. I need more sales. I need more cash. I've lost customers. I've lost suppliers. So the first thing is I look at their marketing. What are they doing? And everyone is saying, hey, call me for a consultation. Well, there's a typical buyer's journey, okay? Everyone who goes and wants to buy a car, a house, a computer, what do they do? They go on Google and start searching because they want information. The same thing applies when you're dealing business to business, okay? Or business to consumer. You have to solve that major pain point of your prospect by understanding what it is. And then you have to provide that you not only know what their problem is, but I have the solution. Okay. So if you have a website that says, call me for a free consultation, you want to know something, no one's coming to it because you have a future buyer who becomes a soon-to-be buyer who becomes a now buyer. Now buyers equal one to three percent. Those are your people who already made the decision. That's to buy why. It. That's why you get a one point one to three percent conversion on the website. Correct, and that's very poor because you're targeting just that small market. You need to concentrate on the ninety-seven to ninety-nine percent of the people who are not ready to buy yet. So we are getting bombarded by so much what we call touch points. It could be a robocall, a cold call. It could be an email, text message. Notification, so, so whatever, yeah. Anyway, it takes 20 to 100 touch points before someone makes their buying decision. So if you're a business owner and you say, I don't have the finances, I don't have the staff, I don't have the time to try to target 20 to 100 times just to get a person to buy from me. Well, that's telling you that you're off on a tangent going towards that one to 3% and you're fighting on price. Okay. And that makes people sense. don't want to buy on price. They want to buy on value. Yeah. Only, only 15% of all buyers buy on price. And you know this better than anybody. If it was about price, whoever was a low price leader would have, 100% of the market. So only a small minority. Uh, and listen, if you want to price your way into a market to get to gain entrance, I don't hate that strategy in the beginning uh, as you build your credibility. But if you're going to lead on price and if you have average overhead, you're going to go under because you have, you're gonna, not going to get the best employees because those want to be, they want to be paid well. And you need resources to market and to um, move your business forward. So I want to, I want you to credential yourself a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. What's your background? Do you have a book? Sure. Like, give us, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in you, but no, you know, no. wanna, credential, credential yourself a little bit. Sure. So I've had 30 years experience in the garment business, in the apparel okay. business. I was a manufacturer where I would travel not only domestically, but overseas to Asia, uh, Central America. And I would manufacture uh, actually apparel for the NFL, for NHL, uh, major sports teams, colleges, all for retail and on field as well. And what I found was uh, I'm, uh, what I really enjoy is building relationships, no matter what aspect of the industry I was in. And what I found was that a lot of these relationships I built up because your business is built on relationships. People have Actually, to yeah. trust you yeah. and yeah. trust is the biggest thing. So when people start to ask me, what's your opinion on how I could set up the factory better? Or what do you think I could do to improve my business? And you're a supplier of mine. Um, number one is I, I'm very humbled at that. So what I started to do was because I enjoyed it so much, I started doing it part time where I go to family and friends who had their own businesses. And I started providing strategies to them on how they can improve their business, not only financially, marketing-wise, but also cost-effective, cutting costs, cash flows. So based upon that, I built the relationship and I started to do this full-time two years ago. 
pre-COVID uh, because I felt business owners, less than 95% uh, of business owners make less than a million dollars. So that's, that's a huge number there. So between my marketing and, and my, uh, you know, expertise in import export, you know, things like that, I started to look at areas where I felt most comfortable in working with business owners. And that's why I targeted the marketing aspect because it starts with obtaining sales. Sales is the lifeblood of any business. And I felt that when I started looking at how people are marketing and getting those Valpac ads and seeing all the advertisements on, on uh, you know, social media, they're all doing it wrong because, and, and I'm guilty as, all, as well, you know, you're going based upon price, emotion and all that, but people aren't putting that strategy into play. And that's why I started to do that. Switch it around and try to see how can you stand out from the crowd? So that's how I built up my relationship, my book, which is the eight strategies that people use to increase their business dramatically. Now, um, just want to go by everybody has different learning curves and the way, mm -hmm. you know, that they do things in terms of their learning. If I get your book, right, mm -hmm. is and that's the way I learn and filter. Maybe I'm an appetite. There's a budget to get you for the 45 minutes or whatever your engagement is, is that adequate enough or do you really need to kind of sit down with you? Well, you know what? Uh, and, and, you know, number one, it costs nothing for someone to sit down with me. All right. I don't believe in the past, you know, I have two different processes. I do a 45 minute presentation just to show three of my eight strategies that are in the book to show people how they're advertising incorrectly. Cause the top three strategies I use, if businesses implement them it works 24 7 it's something that's doing work for you while you sleep it takes time to implement it but that's what's separating you from the crowd it doesn't cost them any anything to have a 45 minute conversation with me and then i have a proprietary software which if you look at your business like a boat and your boat has holes in it and it's going into a storm what do you think is going to happen you're going to take on water and you have a chance it's going to sink. Well, my software will plug those holes up, indicating the areas you're losing money, will provide you with the roadmap, the strategies, and timelines to implement it. But also, I'll be able to tell you how much money you can recoup over the next one, three, and five years by implementing my strategies, not only in revenue, but in net profits. Well, which, which one, one thing that makes it a little bit different and what's your site? Guaranteedbusinessgrowth.com. It's pretty cool that you have that URL. But one of the things that strikes me as interesting uh, with you, it really is, um, it really is um, exciting for me that you're not only like, hey, a top line guy, which a lot of us sales are, and it's great, but it's not about the money you make, it's the money you keep. So it looks like you're involved with some of the operations and the cost cutting to make sure you keep more money, not just make more money. So I really like that. Um, all right. And then, and then listen, I'm going to put a link below. What is it? Uh, guaranteed business .com. Sure. And anyone who goes to that, you could download my book for free. You could check out, uh, listen, if someone wants to do it on their own, that's fine. I have no problem with that. What I would recommend is contacting me and let me do a business analysis. At least let me provide you with the roadmap, with the strategies and timelines to implement it. Now, I've done that for people in the past and they try to do it on their own and guaranteed if they can, I'm all for it. But a lot of times you're so entrenched in the day-to-day -day business that either you can't do it and you need my support and help, which is a different topic, or they say, hey, can I have one of my associates handle it and that's no problem. I could train them as well. So I work in multiple ways, but the main thing I want to do because of COVID, I normally charge the $497 for this profit acceleration business analysis, but I'm not doing that. Because of COVID, I do it for free. There's no reason for me to capitalize on peace, people who are hurting. I'm here to help people get through COVID, reemerge stronger. 
but be the dominating force of their business. They have to drum up business. And I also educate them that we've gone through something we never thought we would have gone through in our lifetime, a pandemic where business shuts down. So now I talk to business owners, what are you doing to prepare for the next shutdown, whether it's in a year, five years, 10 years down the road? Something will definitely happen in the future. So you have to be prepared for it. Love it. All right. I'm going to put your link below. Just give me some notes because what I do is I put them in my phone um, when I'm done with the call and I helps me optimize video. But more importantly, I'm going to put your link below um, yes. and you watch on video. So you see the link below. If you're audio and you're listening in, I'll put it on the iTunes link, etc. And Ross, uh, so I guess we could find you, as I understand, on guaranteedbusinessgrowth.com, correct? That is correct. And then that's Ross Pantel. Ross, thank you for being on the New Theory Podcast. Hey, thank you, Tom. I greatly appreciate it. And um, I just really appreciate the opportunity. And any way I can help any business owner, that's what I'm here for. God bless. Thanks so much.